Hi, I'm John D. Smith, President and Inventor of Storm Stoppers, the plywood alternative of Orlando, Florida. Storm Stoppers have been both large missile 2x4 tested and have protected many homes during six major hurricanes since 2004. Today, we're at the Wall of Wind at Florida International University, FIU, in beautiful Miami, Florida. The Wall of Wind is going to replicate the wind and rain in winds up to 130 miles per hour, which is a category three hurricane. Behind me are the 12 700 horsepower electric fans, which will generate the up to 130 mile an hour wind for today's test. This is the intake side at the wall of wind. As you can see, these 700 horsepower fans are taller than me and there's 12 of them. They generate a lot of power. Wow! The narrow fasteners are spaced two and a quarter inches apart and the regular fasteners are spaced four and a half inches apart. What just happened was the structure got ripped away from its bolted on base. So there's a limit to what bolts and screws can do. Scientists will tell you that as a hurricane blows past a structure, there's tremendous amounts of negative pressure on the backside of that structure. We are at the backside of the structure. And as you can see, the storm stopper panel not only protected the structure, during the test, but it also stayed securely attached when the building blew 50 feet away from its moorings. If you're thinking of a safe, simple, and self-installed way to protect your home and family this hurricane season, I encourage you to look into Storm Stoppers.
My name is Barrett Crook, owner of Kitty Hawk Engineering of the Outer Banks, North Carolina. I was hired by Storm Stoppers of Orlando, Florida to evaluate wind speeds that were done on the Wall of Wind facility in Miami, Florida. The Wall of Wind facility measures winds at 10 feet above the ground, whereas the Saffir Simpson scale, which measures hurricane wind speeds, is actually 33 feet above the ground. Wind speeds tend to be lower, closer to the ground, and higher at a greater elevation. During the test, there was a foundation failure at 126.8 miles per hour, which was measuring the wind at 10 and a half feet above the ground. Based on my calculations and using a Hellman exponent of 0.1, this calculates to a wind speed of 143 miles per hour at 33 feet, which is which the Sanford Simpson scale is based on. 